it's my last day in the village and I'm going to miss all of this. Soon I'll be traveling to United States. I miss my husband, but I'm also going to miss this. This humble life, people living a very humble life, peaceful life, minding their own business, living on their natural resources. I mean, there's no rush around here. I mean, everything is just what it is, which is good enough for all of us who come from the rural areas. So I'll be going to the city, the big city in Washington, D.C., but soon I have to start in my home in Johannesburg. So today is the last day in the village and I'm going to travel to Johannesburg to prepare myself to go back to the United States. So join me on this travel. If you are living abroad and you are from South Africa or in the rural areas of South Africa, Welcome to the village gang gang, the village gang gang that lives abroad, the expats that come back home and put money back home. This is the only reason we are out of the country. Other than that, our country is where our heart lives. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, I am a lifestyle blogger from South Africa. Currently, juggling life between South Africa and the United States. I am showcasing all of that on my channel recently, but mostly I showcase the beautiful rural areas of South Africa. I showcase the developments that have happened in the rural areas of South Africa post-apartheid. I showcase the beautiful developments that are happening in the rural areas. I am a proud village girl, so you will mostly get that kind of content I am usually partly in South Africa and United States since the beginning of this year. So I'm taking you on a journey of my life as a person who is currently living in United States and South Africa between two cities and also my homestead in the rural areas of South Africa in Guazulu Natal province to be precise. Today I'm taking you on a journey back to Johannesburg. I decided to take this route because I wanted to show you guys this beautiful rural areas between Peter Marisbeck and my village. They are very beautiful. People are building very beautiful houses around here. So I am on my way to Johannesburg and I'm going to arrive very late tonight. Probably I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when I have to sort out a lot of things back in Johannesburg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. My name is Belile. I am a lifestyle blogger from South Africa. If you're new on this channel, you are very much welcome. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Guys, I am on my way to go and pick up my visa. Uh, I had to change my visa for United States. But, uh, if in any way I happen to do any business there, at least I want to be safe. So I'm going to fetch my visa. It has been approved. That is so good because hey, the girl might want to do some business when I'm in United States, um, in between United States and South Africa, you never know, you know, sometimes it's better to have legal papers and everything all right. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm so glad that it was approved. So let's just go there. That's what I'm going to do. There are so many things that I am doing today. I'm back in Johannesburg, so it's a little bit hectic. And I'm going to be leaving soon, going back to United States because that's what my life is like right now. So let's go, guys. Okay guys, I have my DHL package here and my visa is here. So I'm happy for this because it's going to allow me to do what I need to do. Open an account in the United States and also work uh, on what I am already working on right now. As you know guys, I am... Uh, doing a tourism uh, uh, business now, bringing in professionals from the United States to come in and explore South Africa in so many ways. Uh, I mean, like socially, culturally, 
uh, entertainment wise and mostly business wise so doing that if I create a US account it's going to be easy for people to make payments directly into my account rather than having to you know go through so many other systems and all those things PayPal and all those things sometimes those things they delay paying you and you need the money to organize and do so many things so I went through that uh, on the previous tour but you know sometimes you have to use your money okay guys now that this is sorted let's just go and do other errands and I'm going to take you guys with me you guys it's a lot uh, you know when you are not in your homes sometimes things go upside down but um, anyway I'm trying to fix those things and make sure that everything is fine so yes soon I will be going back to United States and I just want to make sure that I leave everything in the right order before I go so let's just go guys I'll see you later
guys it's been a long day so much i had done and covered tonight is my last night here in johannesburg i'll be leaving tomorrow morning to united states i'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow right now i just want to go back home cook for my children and eat supper with my children before i depart tomorrow morning it's going to be a long trip going to united states so i'm going to take you guys with me so let's eat dinner and get ready for tomorrow i've already packed believe me or not so i'll see you guys tomorrow at the airport That was a good eight hours of traveling from Johannesburg to Doha. Now I'm connecting from Doha to Washington DC, which is going to be about 14 hours on flight. This is a very beautiful airport. So I felt like I just need to show you guys how beautiful it is. I mean, like I've never seen the whole jungle in the middle of the airport. This is how it looks like. It's such a very beautiful airport. You know, on the left hand side, as you can see, there are trees and trees inside. They've created a beautiful jungle inside the airport. Something I've never seen in most of the airports that I've traveled. But guys, let me just connect with you when I arrive in Washington DC. I'm very exhausted and I hope it's going to be a good trip all the way to Washington DC. Let's just catch up in Washington DC. Bye for now. guys i'm exhausted talking about exhaustion that's me it's my middle name i'm now in washington dc waiting to go to customs and i'll be done my husband on the other side is waiting with another camera for you guys so that you can see me when i arrive so i am in washington dc and i'm happy because i'm meeting with my husband i've been missing him so much that's the only thing that I it's so exciting about watching to DC to tell you the truth. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys when I get home. <laughs> wow. Hey, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm on the road and I'm trying to take you guys with me. I've just, I am recovering from a flu and I flew to. Uh, Washington DC on Wednesday. I arrived on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. So I'm still recovering from the flu that I got from somewhere. I don't know where. So guys, I'm taking you with you with me to just take a walk so that I can get a little bit of sunlight. It's been a while. Everything is blooming nicely. I'm walking through Rhode Island and I'm going towards 14th Street. So we are still on our way. I'm just waiting here on a traffic light. I'm going to cross over and go the other way because seriously I'm trying to avoid too much sun. Everybody is outside. Enjoying spring. 
so let's go guys market is open so it's open today i'm so lucky so i'm just going to go and check what they have and we take it from there it's so nice and beautiful outside people are just enjoying spring it's like summer actually i'm not even dressed up like the wind it is so let's just go inside and check guys apparently the market is only on the first saturday of the month so it's not the market today it's some company doing some promotion so i'm looking at the plans for the apartment and i'm just going to go in here and check if they do have nice plans it's quite a lot that they have look at that Go inside and check. 